Welcome to A Rainbow in the Clouds. I'm your host, Elaine Marie Sharp, a certified color therapist and founder of Aura House School of Color and Light. How many times have you stopped what you were doing to admire a rainbow? Stay tuned for episode number one, where I will talk about the healing benefits of working with this legendary symbol of hope and introduce you to my favorite stress-relieving color. All that plus meditations and color breathing coming up next. Today's episode is called Look to the Rainbow, Seven Colors That Will Give You Hope. There's no doubt about it. We are inspired by the rainbow, by its beauty, by its radiance. Just looking at a rainbow can bring us out of a depression and make us smile. They're in the sky after a rainstorm. They're in water puddles. They're in soap bubbles. And sometimes you will find them inside clear quartz crystals. So let's begin with a rainbow crystal grounding meditation. If you don't happen to have a crystal with you, please refer to the crystal image at rainbowpodcast.com. Take three deep breaths, breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your mouth. And call in your deities, your angels, and your spirit guides for love and protection. Okay, in your mind, I'd like you to see yourself standing under a beautiful waterfall. And as the clear, cool water pours over you. Bring into your awareness the rainbow sparkles that shine within the water drops. Little shimmers of red and orange and and yellow and green, blue, indigo and violet. Let the water cleanse you. Cleanse you of your anger, your grief. Cleanse you of your pain, your shock, your fears. Let it all go. Now, see yourself step out from under the waterfall and find a comfortable spot on the green grass. Have you found one? Okay, sit down on the grass 
and pick up your clear quartz crystal and hold it in your left hand, which is the hand that you use to receive energy. And look closely at your quartz crystal. It has been said that crystals are a mirror of our soul and that they represent our struggles for clarity. And as you're holding the clear quartz crystal, notice all of its lines and its cracks, its chips and rainbows. Do you see the red, the orange, the yellow? Do you see the green, the blue, the indigo, and the violet? Notice how you feel as you hold it. How do you feel? Now, place your crystal on your heart and breathe in peace. Breathe out peace. And as you do, feel a calm and comforting wave of beautiful white light flowing from your heart and throughout your body. Breathe in peace. Breathe out peace. Breathe in peace. Breathe out peace. Now move your quartz crystal down to your root chakra, which is located at the base of your spine. And imagine that there is a long red cord attached to your root chakra. See that cord going down, down, down into the ground, deeper and deeper until you see that the cord is connected to a giant clear quartz crystal in the middle of the earth. Do you see that? Now think or say aloud, I am grounded with the courage of red. I am secure with red. Okay, you are now grounded and you will stay grounded throughout this broadcast.
So today is the first episode of A Rainbow in the Clouds, and it's no accident that I chose Blue Skies as my theme song because that's exactly what I've been breathing today to calm my body and my mind and my spirit. And if you've ever hosted a podcast before, you know that there are practically a million things to do before you even get on the air. So, well, it's fun, but it can also be an emotional roller coaster. And that's actually true about a lot of things in life. A few weeks ago, I was feeling really down from all the negativity I was watching and hearing and reading and And I was consuming it really fast and furious, uh, almost like it was my last meal or something. I was hungrily grabbing at this snippet or that snippet or, or whatever of news. I don't know. I think I was just worried that I was going to miss something important. Anyway, my brain was so stuffed and it became too stuffed <laughs> to add one more sound bite. In fact, I felt like if I watched one more newscast, one more minute of negativity and sensationalism and people bashing and violence, and I thought I was going to explode. So for the sake of my mental health, I decided it was time for another news detox. If you're not familiar with this concept, it just basically means that you're avoiding news on the television, the internet, magazines, newspapers, even asking your friends and your family members not to tell you anything unless there's a missile coming your way. So I've done news detoxes before, and I've always felt better afterwards. And then one day I'll think it's safe to watch the news again, and then I get sucked into the darkness, little by little. And that's why I'm back on the detox train. I got sucked in again. Fortunately, I know a little something about color breathing and how it can help. And I'm going to share that with you right now. Color breathing. It's um, it's a very simple technique which you can use to direct color energy to yourself or to another person. And all you need to do is to imagine a specific color and then breathe that color in and out. You can also visualize directing a color to the area of the body that needs physical or mental or emotional improvement. And it's really quite amazing. And it's free and nobody has to know you're doing it. So let's try it now. Wherever you are at this moment, glance around you. Do you see a shade of blue that you feel drawn to? And if you don't see one, you can just think of your favorite shade of blue. Most people like blue. Okay, so When you've selected that shade of blue, I want you to focus on that blue. And imagine that you are being drawn into that blue, that you are actually becoming a part of that color, just sort of melding into that color, like you're swimming in blue. Blue is a cool and calming color. And I have to say that it's the perfect color when I'm dealing with a stressful situation, like flying in a plane with a child kicking the back of my seat (laughs) or standing in a long line at the bank or the supermarket. I don't know anybody who likes to stand in lines. Actually, you know, when I'm thinking about it, I used it the other day during my dental appointment. And while my mouth was wide open and the light was pointing down on my face. I remember closing my eyes and I just breathed in and out blue. And it was very helpful to me. And my dentist was none the wiser. (laughs) So are you feeling tense? Are you feeling angry? Whenever I'm seeing red, 
I do some blue sky color breathing. And this is how it goes. Close your eyes and think of the clearest blue sky that you can imagine. Mm, Isn't that pretty? And each time that you see a cloud, whether it's white or a dark cloud, think of it as your thoughts. Think of it as your anxiety or your grief, your anger. But don't don't dwell on the clouds. Just notice them as they drift by, drift by, drift by. Breathe in that brilliant, gorgeous blue from the sky. And breathe out the blue sky. Once again, breathe in the blue and breathe out the blue. Breathe in the blue. Breathe out the blue. You can use this blue sky color breathing whenever you want to clear and calm your mind. Whenever you need some instant peace. So I am sitting here in my home office slash meditation slash podcast studio drinking a frosty mug of blue butterfly pea flower tea on ice. (laughs) Oh my goodness. It's a mouthful, but it tastes wonderful. And because it's very humid today, Blue is the refreshing color I crave. And believe it or not, this blue butterfly pea flower tea on ice is really blue. So I love it. I love it. I just, you know, you can't have too many fun things. And uh, and this one is very therapeutic as well. Of course, here in my home office slash meditation slash podcast studio, which I also consider my sacred space, by the way, despite some electronic devices I have in here. I have surrounded myself with the colors of the rainbow. So besides the blue, there are plenty of examples of red and orange and yellow, green, indigo, and violet. In many cultures and throughout history, the rainbow is an illuminating symbol of peace and promise. For instance, In the Bible, God produced a rainbow as his promise to Noah that he would never ever again send a flood to destroy the world. According to Greek legend, Iris used rainbows as a bridge between heaven and earth. In other mythology, the rainbow was a bridge to the homes of the Norse gods and the humans. And of course, who hasn't heard that Irish leprechauns hide their legendary pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? When we were children, most of us learned in science class how to create our own rainbows with prisms or water hoses. We learned that color is light and vibration, and that the colors of the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And we discovered that red has the slowest vibration, while violet has the fastest. And when we combine all the rainbow light rays, we get brilliant white light. I've always found that fascinating. 
Well, one of the many joys of living in this world is the opportunity to experience the glorious gift of color. Color is everywhere around us. And like everything around us, color is energy, which we can use to transform and to center ourselves through our clear and powerful intentions. How are you feeling at this very moment? Are you feeling overwhelmed, afraid, angry, sad, lonely? By raising your vibrations with the rainbow colors, you have the tools and the power to drive away the darkness of negativity. Join me now for a Garden Labyrinth Meditation. Imagine you are sitting on a rustic wooden bench at the edge of a beautiful garden labyrinth. The bench is made of lovely twisted grapevines and sitting on it makes you feel grounded and connected, like you are a very tall tree with your roots firmly planted in the earth. You remove your shoes, for you know that you will soon walk upon a sacred path Now, take three deep breaths, inhaling the fresh scent of the earth, the grass, and the fragrant flowers. Think of where you are in your life and where you wish to be. Now, rise from the bench and walk over to the entrance of the Garden Labyrinth. The green, grassy path is your path of transformation, a path to reconnect you with your life's mission. As you walk, should anything negative appear in your thoughts, simply close that chapter of your mind as if it were a page in a book. The grass feels soft and cool under your feet.
Marking the path are large, flat stones of shimmering pink quartz. See how they sparkle like fairy glitter in the sunshine? Their wonderful pink radiance makes you feel hopeful, supported, and loved. There are seven miniature gardens which make up this labyrinth. Notice how the labyrinth moves in a gentle spiral path. As you walk, concentrate on the rainbow of colors and what each can bring to your life. You are closing the book on worries and discouragement. You are closing the book on heartache and pain. It is time to create a new chapter in your life. The first garden you see is covered in beautiful red roses. You bend down to gently stroke the soft, velvety petals. Feel the warmth and energy of the color red. Red is the first color of the rainbow. It is the color of passion and enthusiasm and survival. Red helps you obtain your material needs, and it helps you to become grounded. Think of red when you wish to become more courageous in your life. Breathe in the color red. Grow power and stability with red. The affirmation for red is, I am always in control of every difficult situation. I am always in control of every difficult situation. The next garden you see is filled with orange chrysanthemums. Orange is the second color of the rainbow. Touch the orange chrysanthemum and become the color orange. Orange is a joyful color, so feel happy about your decision to become more creative and more motivated. Breathe in the color orange. Grow joy and creativity with orange. The affirmation for orange is I am always feeling good about myself and others. I am always feeling good about myself and others. Now walk through the third garden, 
with its sunny yellow buttercups. Feel the sunshine and the power of yellow surround you. Yellow is the third color of the rainbow. And yellow gives you better confidence in your abilities. No matter how many rejection slips or criticisms you might receive. Think of yellow when you wish to improve your mental concentration. Breathe in the color yellow. Grow confidence and optimism with yellow. The affirmation for yellow is, I am always confident that I can achieve anything I want at any time. I am always confident that I can achieve anything I want at any time. Next is a garden of sweet green clover. Green is the fourth color of the rainbow, and it is the color of harmony and balance and renewal. Green gives you the gift of good physical and emotional health. Think of green when you are stressed and hurrying to meet deadlines and your balance will be restored. Breathe in the color green. Grow good health and harmony with green. The affirmation for green is, I am always healthy and forgiving. I am always healthy and forgiving. You are now standing in the center of the labyrinth. There is a crystal clear pool here and a small waterfall which flows into the pool. You kneel next to the pool and lean over to see your reflection. Your face looks rested and you are smiling. Perhaps you are seeing yourself at a desk where you are finishing your book or screenplay. Perhaps you are on stage accepting a performance or technical award. See your greatest dream become reality. Now see your family and friends joining you. They are praising you for your accomplishments and encouraging you to keep persevering. Now see yourself having finally achieved independence, joy, confidence, and harmony. You are anxious to begin your journey back through the labyrinth and to live your dreams so you turn to continue your journey. The path is leading you through a field of bluebells. Blue is the fifth color of the rainbow, and it offers you the gifts of integrity and communication. Think of blue when you wish to write or speak with truth. 
Breathe in the color blue. Grow sincerity and trust with blue. The affirmation for blue is, I am always sincere and respected. I am always sincere and respected. Soon, you are walking through an indigo patch of deep blue-colored irises. Indigo is the sixth color of the rainbow. Indigo gives you intuition. It's your inner voice that tells you to go for it. Think of indigo when you seek wisdom in all of your business dealings, whether it is with a publisher, a client, a supervisor, or a co-worker. Breathe in the color indigo. Grow wisdom and intuition with indigo. The affirmation for indigo is, I am always using my imagination to create positive change. I am always using my imagination to create positive change. Now, there is only one garden left to explore, the violet-colored lavender fields. Violet is the seventh color of the rainbow. It is the color of faith and spiritual meaning. In your life's journey, remember violet when you need to expand your horizons. Breathe in the color violet. Grow faith and opportunities with Violet. The affirmation for Violet is, I am always positive that things happen for a reason and will turn out fine. I am always positive that things happen for a reason and will turn out fine. You have now reached the end of the labyrinth. You see your bench and notice There are now two objects on the seat. As you grow closer, you find that the objects are a brand new journal and a pen in your favorite color. With this pen, you are ready to explore the source of your pain, the source of your creativity and your love. With this pen, you have all the courage that you need to explore your feelings. You sit on the bench, feeling the richness of the earth under your feet, And you breathe in all the colorful beauty which surrounds you. And then you feel a powerful light energizing you. You know you are safe and strong 
and loving, and you know you can do anything now. You are blessed with energy. You are blessed with light. You are blessed with love. You are the rainbow. One of my favorite possessions is a rainbow maker. It's actually a Swarovski crystal sun catcher, and it hangs in our bedroom window. And the way it works is that when the sun hits the little solar panel just right, dozens of beautiful rainbows spin around the room. It's like watching a colorful carousel, and I absolutely love it. The Rainbow Maker reminds me of the story of Pollyanna and the crystal chandelier. And if you're familiar with the story, you remember that she hung up a string of crystal pendants against a sunny window. And when she saw the rainbows dancing on the walls, she was so excited that she had to tell everybody, everybody she knew about the crystal rainbow makers, as she called them. And um, she wanted to share her discovery with everybody she knew because she felt that it was going to make them feel better. And indeed, it did make people smile. You can be a rainbow maker too. By using the rainbow colors, you can make a difference, not only in your own life, but in the lives of others too. Change your colors and you change your world. That has become my personal mantra. So basically it means that if you don't like what you see or how you are feeling, all you have to do is select a different color. You have the freedom and you have the power to choose a different color, one that uplifts your spirits. So here's today's tip on how you can become a rainbow blessing in someone's cloud. Help paint a room in their home. It may not sound like much, but a change of color can help raise your friend's vibrations. Are they angry or stressed? Then choose a soothing blue or green shade. Are they depressed? Go for sunny yellow. Of course, kindness. Kindness is always appreciated. In addition to changing their colors, sometimes you can help somebody just by listening to them. Just by listening. I'm Elaine Marie Sharp, and thanks for listening to A Rainbow in the Clouds. Be sure to visit rainbowpodcast.com to subscribe to the show, access the show notes, and to register for my color workshops. Some of the highlights from today's episode can be found in my book, Mad About You, A Memoir in Living Color, now available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, iBooks, and Kobo. So, until next time, no matter how you feel or where on the planet you live, don't forget to stop and enjoy the pretty colors.